Who have made important contributions to the team throughout 
Good afternoon, Gigi's fans. We are here today at Montpetit Hall for a tilt between the Gigi's women's volleyball team and the Université de Laval Rouge et Or. I am Daniel Proto, joined here with Chris Curry. He's excited to be here for final regular season game at home for this Montpetit Hall here for the University of Ottawa Gigi's women's basketball team. Good atmosphere, a lot of people here. Everybody is excited to get going and we're about to get started. Absolutely, Gigi is celebrating their seniors tonight in their last regular home season game for the season. We are moments away from the first serve. Number 17, Amy Gaboury, back to serve for the Laval Rouge et Or. Great pass. First referee calling no touch there on that middle attempt there by Janae McKay. Some uh, dispute there, but point to the Rouge et Or. Gaboury back to serve once again. And she puts that one in the net, point GG's. GG's. Down 1 2 to start this match with number 16, Audrey Odigi, back to serve. Good float serve put in, great pass, and well executed in the middle by number 8, Alexandrine Leroy Odigi. Yeah, great setup there just to find her right in her wheelhouse, just be able to knock it down. Not much they were able to do there was the GGs on their end just to block that. Absolutely. Jade Marquis back to serve for Rougéard. With the net serve trickling over, great pass by Michaela Jones, and an excellent run there by Janae McKay in the middle. She's rewarded for that wealth played point as uh, Laval Rougéard, number seven, Roxanne saint amand puts the ball away into the net. It looked like she was a little bit unsure of herself there, just didn't get up as high as she would have liked it, and just into the net. Janae McKay back to serve for the G's. Great serve, putting the Rougeog in trouble here. Great pick up there by Odigi. A little strong swing there by Grace McHale, just going wide off the sidelines. Number eight, Alexandrine Leroy Oudzi back to serve for the Laval. Strong pass there by Odigi. Good run there by setter Max Langevin. And tough situation given the speed of the and the tightness of the ball there, but good delivery and good attempt there by number two, Avery Hughes on the right side. Just putting that ball long. Another good pass by Odigi. Ball dug up by the Laval. Oh, tough play there, scramble ball. A good touch by Odigi in the back there, just clipping the bottom of the net, but not enough hang time for Grace McHale to pick that up for a second contact. And there's a great pickup by saint Emma on the Rouge All side, just had to kind of spin around and get it back up quickly, so just court, good court awareness. Absolutely. Pipe here coming from the G's. Oh, we're giving that point to the G's there. Some contemplation on whether that pipe hit was actually touched by a Laval player. Ball bounced up high in the air and put away by Alana Lee Young. It's close, one of those that's just so close, it's very tough to call, but you just gotta keep playing as if play continues. Absolutely, that whistle determines what stops here, and no whistle, no stop in play. Laval, good side out there. Great swing by number four, Eloise Rostrandley. Get that ball off the Gigi's block and out the opposite side of the court. Number seven, Roxanne Saint-Amand, back to serve for Laval. Another strong pass by Odigi. Oh, tough set there by Maxime Langevin. 
trying to find a step around with Landon Young, just not quite connecting as desired. So a tough start here for the Gigi's down eight to three. These two teams have faced off twice already this year. Gigi's won one matchup, three sets to one. Then they were swept in their second meeting. So still a couple of months since that's happened. But not a great start here as Mikhail floats one a little bit too strong on that attempt. Gets a few fingers on that one though off the Laval block. So point G's now only trailing four in this first set. Mikhail back to serve. Strong float serve there, but great pass up from Laval and a great setter dump by number 17, Emi Gabouy. Screwing the light bulb in with that right hand and putting that sneakily behind the left side block of the G's. Point Laval with number four, Eloise Rastamblay back to serve. Good recovery on that pass there from the G's. Setter going on two here. Oh, and a powerful middle play there by the Laval Rouge et Or. Number 11, Justine Raymond finding the court in transition off a great set from Emi Gabouri. And Raymond is someone that the GGs are going to have to watch, averaging over three kills per set leads this team. So clearly there's a lot going that direction. Yeah, absolutely. She's definitely on the radar for the GGs here. Tough pass there from libero Michaela Jones. Results in a service ace, forcing Lionel Woods to call a timeout as the G's are down 4-11 in this first set. We'll be right back. Back here from the timeout, number four, Eloise Rostremblay to serve for Laval. Picked up by Michaela Jones. And a quick wipe by Audrey Odigi to put the ball over, keep it in play. Dug by Jones here. And a great pipe run there by Grace McHale, earning that point for the G's. Successful timeout to get that first point here. Only trailing six now in this first set. Number seven. Alana Leung back to serve for the G's. That ball floating right into the top of the tape there, returning the point to Laval. Tough go for the GG's uh, early service error here. They had 167 service errors on the season, so that's a pretty high number when you consider that only 101 for Laval. So just giving away points, can't afford those. Absolutely, they look to redeem themselves in this Side out possession, and they sure do. Great pass there by Grace McHale with Maxime Langevin finding Janae McKay on the step around for a well-placed tip. Langevin back to serve for the G's. Strong pass there by number 10, Jeanne Marquis. Ball given right back to her, but she sails that attack out. Point for the G's. Now only down 8-12, 7-12, my apologies, in this first set. Langevin is still at the service line. Double called there on setter for Laval, Emi Gabouri. The ball coming out with a bit too much spin for the ref's liking. Point for the G's, are they narrowing down that deficit in this first set? Yeah, it's still early on, like to chip away. Get a couple of points here and there. It's important for the GGs not to get down too big of a hole early. Jean Marquis with the swing and blocked by the G's. Reversed here into, oh, block just not getting over enough. That ball landing on the GG side. Point for Laval. 
great swing there by number 11, Justine Raymond. Number 17, Emmy Gaboury back to serve for Laval Rougeard. Passed up by Michaela Jones. And scored here by Audrey Odigi from the right side. Great position shot, catching the defender in the face, forcing them to make a tough pass here with their hands and low reaction time. And Odigi back to serve here for the GGs. Good pick up there by Laval Recoup. Blocked by the G's. Blocked again by the G's. And that'll do it for that one. Great execution by the blockers here on the GG's side. That's being stable, making sure that ball does not come back on their side. Yeah, that was great work there on that first block. It was McKay and Hughes just in there together. Second one was Hughes just timed it right, got it down. Nothing Laval could do. Exactly. ODG back here to serve again. Another strong serve, but well passed by Laval and executed beautifully in the middle by number eight, Alexandrine Leroy Ozzy. Perfect, perfect positioning on every pass. Just the, the beautiful just save, the set, the, 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 the smash. It was just, you couldn't have asked for a much better placement there on Laval's side. Exactly. Easy execution on their side here as the Gs once again find themselves running a bit out of system on the first ball. But that ball put away on the overpass from Janae McKay. Geez, only trailing three points here, 11-14 now in this first set. And it was a big first hit, and just not able to corral that was Laval. The, that, retur that return just went right over a little bit, maybe three feet too far, and just easy recovery for the GGs. Exactly, McKay back to serve. Sails that one just a few inches long there. She attempts to uh, force the passes to make a decision. Point here for Laval with number eight. Alexandre Leroy Oudzi back to serve. One of, a, one of the close ones, it was another service error, but that one was at least close, made them have to think about it, but good play by Laval. Odigi, perfect pass here, giving the setter all the options. Blocked Avery Hughes, back to Avery Hughes, big swing. That's the redemption ball that Gigi's are looking for. She paints that back corner in one and goes back to the service line as it's her turn to put the pressure on from the baseline. Tough serve, tripling over. Laval setter, as tall as she is, not quite enough to, to get that ball, to keep it on their side of the net. Point for the G's, setter can't place the ball over the net from a position above the net when they're in the back row as Emmy Gaboury still is. Avery Hughes back to serve. Gigi's only deficit of two points now in this first set, trailing 13-15. Strong pass going to outlet wing there for Louise Rassemblay. Picked up by the G's, Grace McHale with a great tool off the block there, earning the point for the GGs. Only yeah. one point down here, Chris. Yeah, great recovery after that start. They were down 8-3 and just slowly chipping away and still lots of time, but now we've got a one point game. Hughes with a good serve in that back corner. Picked up by Jones, miscommunication there, resulting in a point for Laval. Just couldn't find the middle hitter in transition there. Grace McHale attempting her best to at least put that ball over, but still difficult position for her to be in. Number seven, Roxanne saint amand back to serve for the Rougeard. She puts a nice float serve in. Grace McHale picks up the ball, run a pipe here with Odigi. Gabouri finds the middle, and it Hit out by number 11 there, Justine Raymond. Yeah, good break there for the GGs because that was prime positioning for Laval and just popped it wide. So that's an error on, on their side. Yeah, exactly there. Laval doing a great job of pushing that ball to the net to, in transition, allowing their setter to still run an effective offense. But GGs will take it and they'll take that one as well as Grace McHale slides in a sneaky ace to tie the game at 16 and forcing Laval Rougeard timeout. We'll be back shortly.
We're back here for action between the Gigi's and Laval Rougeau volleyball programs here. Tied at 16 in the first set. Grace McHale back to serve for the G's. And sails that one long, about a good foot and a half there. Good timeout call by the Rougeau to earn that easy point coming back here. The G's looking to recuperate on this side out opportunity with number four, Eloise Rostrable back to serve for the Rougeau. Strong float serve pass well by number five, Michaela Jones. Slide attack there by Alana Leung, just squeaking through the block, staying on the Laval of Bougeau's side, earning the point for the G's back, tied at 17. Number four here, Trinity Lusanne coming in for the G's to serve. Lusanne, one of the graduating seniors here on the team, four years with the program. Strong serve by Lusanne, attacking the libero and getting an ace on her first point of the match here. Gigi's up 18-17. You saw Gaburi was waiting to hit that the second hit, hoping that it came off the net, was able to get a little bit of a better hit, but just a little bit shorter than what she thought. Yeah, absolutely. Lusanne, another strong serve, and she paints that baseline. Two aces back to back for Lusanne coming into this set, and she forces another timeout. For the Laval Rougeau, Gigi's up 19 17. Turning back to action here, Gigi's leading in this first set, 19 to 17 against the Laval Rougeau. Trinity Lusan back to serve. Well passed by the libero Alex Cantin here and put down on the right side by number 11, Justine Raymond. Twice now, Olivier Fauché has taken a timeout for Laval. Twice now, first one was off a service error for the Gigi's, but that one came back. Big service win. They get that point, they got the service back. Absolutely, it's what you want from a timeout here. We're just seeing all back to serve, putting pressure on the G's, getting the free ball back over. Well dug by the G's. Grace McHale coming from the back row with an effective pipe once again in this set. Gigi's up 2018 with number 12, Maxime Langebain, back to serve. Haven't seen much of that, that attacking from beyond. Don't see much of that. You might see a little bit more of that earlier in the year, just not today though. So when that was effective, we'll see if they go to that more. Tough pass here by Jade Marquis. Unfortunate situation here. Gigi's on the net on the out of system attack from the Val Rougeard. No real need to press as aggressively, knowing that the ball would be coming from further away. G's unfortunate mistake there as they now reduce their lead to just one point. Strong pass there by Grace McHale. And a terrific run in the middle there. Janae McKay putting that ball straight to the floor. Sometimes there's only so much you can do when they get up high and they put it with such a downward angle with that spike that that kills. Yeah, quite effective. Set up there on the offense from the GGs with ODG back to serve here, up 21-19 in this first set. Oh, beautiful serve there. Oh, dug over by Grace McHale. Touched by Avery Hughes, but not quite enough. Ah, oh, unfortunate situation there off. Such an effective serve by ODG. Laval Bougeard able to scramble on that rally and ultimately just get that ball over into trouble on the Gigi's side. It was a great recovery and they were able to scramble really well. Great pass there by Michaela Jones. Langevin finding McKay again. Gabiri going outside here. Not quite touching the ceiling, but too many touches there. 
for the GGs on that attack from Roxanne saint amand on the right side. That ball was so high that it was in the rafters, but it didn't touch, so I just think there was a little, maybe a little bit of a hold off there, some hesitation. Game tied at 21. Langevin finding Avery Hughes for the big swing on the right side, blowing up that Laval block, giving the lead back to the GGs here, 22-21 in this first set. We see Elena Leung coming back into the middle position in the front row for Trinity Lusan, who was in to serve for her. We'll see if her presence makes a difference in this defense against the Laval offense in this side-out opportunity. McKay with a strong float serve into five. Oh, tough. Deep swing there by number four, Eloise Rastamblay, catching Janae McKay in a high collarbone dig position. Middle's not known for their uh, defensive play in the back. And well-placed ball there by Laval. Ties his game at 22 in the first set. Strong pass again by Odigi. Grace McHale flying through the left side, putting that ball back down to the floor. Gigi's up 23-22 in this tight first set. And she came flying in there and got a really good hit on that and another kill for McHale, who averages 1.8 per set. Oh, and the G's will take that one. A little trickle net serve from Avery Hughes, giving an ace and match, or set point, my apologies, to the G's. Up 24-22 in set number one. Strong, deep serve, passed well by the libero. Big dig by Audrey Odigi. Grace McHale getting the point on that one. Linesman calling that ball in off Grace McHale's effective cut shot down the line. Gigi's take the first set, 25-21. We'll be right back with second set action.
We're back here at Montpetit Hall for the second set of action between the Uadwa Gigi's and the Laval Bougeard Gigi's leading this match 1-0, taking the first set 25-22. No lineup changes from either team, so they're ready to duel it out for the second set of action. Langevin with the deep float serve, sailing that ball out the baseline, giving Laval the first point of the second set. And we were talking about it a bit during the break. It felt like that first set was one of the GG's best sets all year. They had a rough start, but other than that, they just played very complete volleyball. Absolutely. Passing was well, and they were very tenacious on the offense. Grace McHale taped it in that ball from the pipe over. Tip there from Roxanne saint amand And a big swing from Avery Hughes, finding the block and then finding the floor. GG's tied the second set up, 1-1. Number 16, Audrey Odigi back to serve for the GGs. Deep float serve, passed well there by Alexandre Cantin. Laval attack dug up by Michaela Jones and the pipe attack by Audrey Odigi just going deep. GG seemed to be running that pipe attack quite often now, finding that success from the first set. Two mishaps here in this second set, but we'll see if they'll keep going that in transition. Number eight here, Alexandrine Leroy Audi to serve. Well passed by McKay. Avery Hughes, another big swing from the right side. Laval defenders unable to corral that one. Point for the G's. Didn't get as much height on that as maybe some of her other ones, but just was able to just get that really nice angle to get it nice and low. No real spin on it, just directly straight to the back corner. Yeah, flat position swing there. Great offense by Avery Hughes. And Janae McKay gets her first ace of the night. Targeting number four, Eloise Rostremblay in that 5-6 seam. She returns to the baseline for another attempt. Going back at Eloise Vestrandley there. Big block from the G's. Oh, and not quite the block on that one. As number seven, Roxanne saint amand finds the block and wipes it off the sideline. Point for Laval Rougeard. saint amand back to serve for Laval. Tough pass there. Grace McHale not quite able to keep the momentum off of that ball. As saint amand gets an ace on her serve and she goes back to the line once again. Oh, short serve on that one. Just finding the floor. Beating out the outstretched hand there of Audrey Odigi trying to pancake that ball. Get a touch for her teammates. Unsuccessful attempt, two aces consecutively here for saint amand Good pass by Odigi. Hughes on the step, finds the hands that get that ball just over. Gigi's down 4-5 here in the second set. Avery Hughes back to serve. Deep float serve, just finds that baseline. Laval player is trying to convince the line judge before he makes up his mind that that ball was out, but could not be convinced otherwise, that ball just trickling in. Avery Hughes back to serve once again. Going right back at that same position, well passed by Jade Marquis. And that ball hit just out by Eloise Rostamblé. Gigi's take the lead for the first time in the second set, up 6-5. Avery Hughes back on the baseline once again. Another deep float serve. Pass well by Alexandre Cantin. And Emmy Gaboury, sneaky dump, just sliding that ball over from such a high position. She's such a tall setter that has the advantage of being able to be so high above the net in the front row and making that decision very last minute whether to put it down herself or dish it to a teammate. G's recuperating that point here off a miss serve from number four, Eloise Rastremblay. Still up, one point here, 7-6. And yeah, both those teams each have one service error in this set. Still early, lots of time left though. 
Grace McHale back to serve for the U Ottawa Gigi's. Nice float serve, back corner, pass up by Jeanne Marquis, out of system ball, back to Marquis. And off the block there, creating a little deflection that made it a little tougher from libero Michaela Jones to trace down that ball direction, ultimately unable to get a good touch on it. You could tell it looked like she was a little, little hesitation of where the ball was going. It's tough when it changes directions on you so fast. Absolutely. Mikhail not quite to, able to corral that ball. Jones with the out system set to Odiji who finds that block and makes that ball swing out the other way. Point for the G's. Number seven, Elena Young, back to serve for the G's. Strong float serve, well passed by Laval as they won the step around with number eight, Alexandrine Leroy-Audi for another point, tying this game at eight. Emi Gaboury back to serve for Laval Rougeard. Pass well by Jones here. McKay on the quick attempt. Finds the block, finds a defender, but too strong to corral that were the Laval defenders. Gigi's back and forth, recuperating this one point lead. Maxime Langevin back to serve for the G's. Strong serve, passed well by Eloise Rassemblé. Dug well here by the G's, ODG. Powerful swing, but finding the tape and then going out of bounds here. Point for Laval. And a great get by Mikhail to keep it going, but then just that follow up just out of bounds. Nothing you'd like to see, but still have a time game, tie game here at nine. Chad Marquis serving that ball in the net here for Laval Rougeard. Gigi's once again up one point, 10 9. Audrey Odigi back here to serve. Strong float serve, aimed right at the libero, Alexandre Cantin. And Louis Rastamblé gets a nice touch there. Great dig by ODG. Oh, quite a bit of controversy going on here. I think a few missed calls on this opportunity. Laval Rougeard contemplating, or complaining rather, about a double on Max Langevin's set, which was uncalled. And then on the Gigi side, they're complaining here about a touch on that block from the swing attempt from Avery Hughes. Ultimately, G's getting the favor here on that point. Ref calling the touch on that block. And G's will now be up 11-9. Once again with Audrey Digi back to serve. Powerful serve. Oh no! Just an absolute blunder there by the Gigi's blockers. Great serve by Odigi, forcing that ball to come back over on the Gigi's side. And I think Janae McKay was a little too dialed in on the middle block on the other side. Didn't notice that ball was going to hit her right in the head, and it sure did. One of those uh, ball don't lie moments, you think. <laughs> yeah. Kind of comes back to them. Tough serve there, crowd by Michaela Jones. Big swing by Hughes, blocked, but picked up well. And Luis Vastramble tipping that ball over. Great dig there by Langevin. Kayla Jones putting that ball back over. Vastramble, another swing. Big block by the G's, out of system. Dig by Maxim Langevin. Avery Hughes, deep swing. Picked up by Laval, and some confusion on who should take that third ball. Great scramble rally by both teams. Gigi's getting the better of that rally, though, however, getting that point. Yeah, I want to highlight one of the early shots there by Odigi. Just, it looked like there was no one in the back line, and she just put out an arm, kept it going, that kept the play alive. Ends up getting to the point where we were late on in that, in that, in that play. Bit of miscommunication on the back line for Laval and ends up. It was a great rally. Yeah, great pickup. And Trinity Lucent coming in once again as a serving sub. She cannot be stopped at the baseline, getting her third ace of the match and forcing a timeout from the Laval Bougeard. Gigi's up 13-10.
the back here. Gigi is leading 13-10 in the second set. Lucien with a strong serve. Louis Rastremblay with a tip dug by Max Langevin. Avery Hughes, big swing, but a strong block there by number 11, Justine Raymond on the Laval Rougeard. Yeah, excellent block in great position, arms straight up, ball comes straight down. Very good shot. Oh, tough serve there. Lots of float, bring that ball straight down onto the top of the net, trickling over there. Ace there by Roxanne saint amash has had a few here in this set already, and they've, Laval Rougeard have been able to narrow down that lead, or deficit by one point, and now they equalize this game at 13 in the second set. So another time, that's three straight times now from Coach Fauché, takes a timeout, a couple of points, so you're looking to get something out of a timeout, just slow your team down and recover, and they've done that. And <laughs> throw one into the net. So you take the good with the bad. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're not complaining about erasing most of that deficit there. Unfortunate play on that last serve, but Gigi's here with the ball. He refused on the baseline. Strong serve. Recovery by Hughes there. Grace McHale, strong swing on the solo block using the hands of Justine Raymond and wiping that ball outside of the court to earn a point for his team. Avery Hughes back to serve once again. Strong flat serve, tough to corral there by Jeanne Marquis. Alexandre Kanté sending that ball over. Slide attack here. Bit of a whiff ball there by Orlando Leon, sending that ball quite wide out the side. Gigi is still leading this set 15-14 with number four, Eloise Rostremblay, serving for Laval. Passed up well by Audrey Gigi, dished out to Grace McHale, a little tip play. Couldn't get over that strong, tall block of Laval Rougeard. Set here tied 15 apiece now. Once again, Eloise Rostremblay back to serve for Laval. Well passed here by Grace McHale. Sea ball attempt. A refused good defense there. Jeanne Marquis swinging, getting blocked. Tight ball here. Now Javin just trying to keep it off the floor on their side. Unfortunate run there for Laval Bougeard. Just hitting that slide attack off the net and outwards. GG's take that point of 16-15 now in the second set. Grace McHale back to serve. Oh, there we go. It's a lot of averages here, Chris. Uh, as many balls that are going to trickle over the net and score on you, you're going to score as many going the other way, and that seems to be the case here. Grace McHale redeeming that prior uh, service error from uh, Laval's side with her own ace off the net here. Back to serve once again. Tough pass there by Alexandre Contin. And Jeanne Marquis just sneaking that ball into the blockers and keeping it on the GG side there. Point and I Laval. Say, and I will say that was, I don't want to call it lucky from Laval, but it was one in not great position going up against two blockers. So sometimes you're able to just kind of poke it in the right spot and they did it there. Exactly. Strong serve there by Justin Raymond. Pass well by Odigi. Going back to that pipe from Grace McHale. Picked up by Laval. Jeanne Marquis, big swing and big block here by Alain Leung and Maxime Langevin. Well set block there on transition play from Laval. Gigi's keeping that lead alive up 18 16 here in the second set. Alain Leung back to serve. Strong, powerful serve. Oh, just finds the sideline. Gigi's up now 19-16 in the second set. So another close one here. Oh, and we'll give a timeout yeah. here. Interesting play here. Lionel Woods, coach of the Gigi's, calling a timeout. Gigi's up 19-16. We'll be right back.
We're back here, second set of action. Elena Leung on the service line, another strong serve. Tight net play coming on, and point for the Gs. Well blocked there by Audrey Odigi to stop. Strong, tall setter, Emmy Gabouri from Laval Rougeau and putting that ball over on two. And that's a big point for the Gigi's because they were on a little bit of a run. They took a timeout, which you don't see often. Important to see for them that you don't kind of lose that momentum. And of course, again, as we discuss this, one into the net, but overall it was that first point you didn't want it to feel like it was a bit of a wasted timeout opportunity. Absolutely, G's able to still put that pressure on coming out of their own timeout is crucial in this tight set. Gabouri with a deep float serve, well passed by Grace McHale. A bit of a low set there by Maxime Langevin. Tough for Janae McKay to find that uh, opportunity to put it over with some power here. Puts it into the net. Gigi's still up 2018 in the second set. Gabri deep serve, well pass once again. McKay finding that one for sure. Running that effective slide from the middle. Coming all the way from four over to two, burying that ball down in deep five. Gigi's up 21-18 in the second set. Maxime Nanjaman back to serve. Deep serve, pass by Eloise Gossambe. Big dig by Michaela Jones. Odigi finding that baseline. What a great defensive and transition play by the Gigi's. Forcing a timeout here by Laval Rougeau. Gigi's up 22 18. We're back here, second set of action at Montpetit Hall. Gigi is leading this match 1-0 and leading the second set 22-18. Substitution with Megan Kochanchis coming in to serve for the Gs. Nice float serve and perfect execution. Coming out of a timeout and a substitution here, Megan Kochanchis earning a point off the ace for the Gs. Substitution here coming for the Laval Rougeard as number three, Marie Justine Couture comes in for number 17, Emmy Gaboury. Trying to shake up the offense here as Laval Rougeard trails five points in the second set. Kochanche back to serve once again. Nice float serve. Pass well by Inouye Rastamblé. And a huge block between Avery Hughes and Janae McKay. Shutting down number seven, Roxanne Saint-Amand, giving the G's a second set point here of 24-18. And it was a big block, but it seemed like Laval kind of lost their defensive presence. Just a big wide open space to be able to put that block in. Well passed here by Alexandre Cantin. And a crucial, important swing there by Jeanne Marquis. Giving the Laval Rougeard another chance to keep this set alive, down 19-24. We've seen in the past how teams can make runs, so it's not unheard of, but tall task here for Laval. Absolutely, geez. Getting it done in the first side out opportunity. A little sneaky cut shot there by Audrey Digi. Gives the Gigi's their second set victory of the day. 25-19, Gigi's lead the match 2-0, and we'll be back for the third set of action shortly.
back here for the third set of action. Gigi's up 2-0 in this match against the Laval Rougeard. Gigi's putting a free ball here. And getting a big block there by Janae McKay in the middle. Gigi's taking the first set of this, uh, first point part in of this third set. Always tough to go from a free ball to winning the point. It's a very tough go. And they did it there, so great start to the set. Absolutely, stealing the free portion there. And then they get another one. Great serve there by Maxime Langevin. Ace for the G's, up 2-0 here in this third set. Langevin back to the serve once again. Deep serve here, and she finds that back corner. Gigi's up three here off two consecutive aces from Maxime Langevin. Momentum starting strong for the G's in this third set. And a big differentiator between these two teams in the first two sets. That's the 12th ace for the GGs, whereas only five for Laval. It's a positive number for the G's. They'll take any day of the week. Laval scoring a point here. Off Jade Marquis' roll shot into the pot here. She goes back to serve. Strong serve, passed well by Michaela Jones. Found well into Jane. Name of Kay's hands, Justine Raymond with a big swing on the right side. Grace McHale with a pipe attack dug up effectively. Free ball coming in to the G's. And Avery Hughes putting that ball away off the Laval blocker number seven, Roxanne saint -Amain. Great swing by number two, Avery Hughes. And big for Hughes now up to eight kills on the day, so great day for her so far, and we're still only early in this third set. Absolutely, Odigi back to serve here for the GGs. Passed well by Louise Vestremblay, dish back to Roxanne Cinema, dug well by Odigi. Grace McKill on the left side, finding that deep corner in five. What an effective shot to go to in out of system play here. Great transition ball by the GGs. And we just mentioned how Hughes has eight kills. That's also the eighth for McHale. So great overall day. They are leading this squad. Absolutely. Good spread out offense here so far by the Gs. ODG back to serve once again. A little too far on her deep float serve. She really likes to stand in that back wall here and just put some power behind it. That one not catching enough wind friction to drop, but still effective serve either way. Number eight here, Alexandrine Roy Odi back to serve for Laval. Passed well by Grace McHale. Avery Hughes just so powerful on the wing, blowing up that block, sending it straight to the baseline. Gigi's up 6-2 in this third set. Great start in this third quarter here, uh, in this third set, excuse me. Um, you win the first two, you want to kind of keep that momentum going. They have so far. Janae McKay back to serve for Ottawa. Flat float serve, pass well by Jeanne Marquis. Tough set here. Net play going on, strong block, and there we have it. Well done there by Elena Leong in the middle to ensure Laval couldn't easily put a ball over, rejecting not once but twice here, the Laval attack. And this comes in, substitution for Laval here. Number three, Marie-Justine Couture taking out 17, Emmy Gabouri. McKay back to serve once again. Strong serve, Jeanne Marquis, great pass. Tight set here, unable to be played by Eloise Rastremblay. Gigi's take a six point lead up 8 2, forcing a timeout from Laval Rougeard.
back here coming out from a Laval timeout. Gigi's lead this third set, 8-2. McKay back to serve. Passed up by Alexandre Cantin and swung hard on the left side by number four, Eloise Bastrambley. Coming out of that timeout once again, Laval is scoring a point. And it's big for them because I think this game means so much more to them in the grand scheme of the standings. Hold on, we'll get back to that in a moment. Grace McHale with a strong cut shot and an out system play. Tipped here by Vestremblay. Jones with the out system set. Hughes, big swing. Great pickup there by the libero Cantin. And she puts an air in this set way far out there, unable to be played by Russ Tremblay. Yeah, so big positioning in the standings here. Top four make the playoffs. Laval currently tied for fourth with Sherbrooke. So one of those two teams is going to get that fourth position. Laval sitting at eight and eight on the season. Sherbrooke also eight and eight. So this is a big game for them. GG's are in sixth, so they're going to end up either in sixth or seventh, depending on how the last couple of games shake out. But with only two more games left in the regular season, Laval has really come out flat today. Absolutely. Gigi's opportunity to play some spoiler here, which is some, you know, secondary motivation. Great swing there by Alana Leung, finding a block on the stride, step around. But once again, yeah, Gigi's uh, already looking at their winningest season since 2016-17 and hoping to build on that in these last few games here. Able to play spoiler against Laval, hurt their dreams of a playoff berth, and then you know, fighting for the, the basement game against UQTR next week to ensure they don't finish last in league play. Great dig there by Jones. And ODG, powerful swing. Almost saw that one going to the floor before she even hit it. Finding that five deep corner once again has been an effective shot for the GGs here. And you can really see how well that this team has in comparison to just last year, a lot of progression. And of course, we're looking at seniors night and we're gonna see a lot of these seniors kind of move on next year, whether it's McHale or Hughes and big parts of this team. But we're seeing a lot of the first year players. You just saw that that uh, that kill last point by ODG. That's just the kind of the next generation is gonna keep going and keep making this program. We're gonna keep improving and improving and things will keep getting better. Absolutely, you just have a nice balance here of veteran presence and fresh young blood. It's been great so far for them this season and I'm sure they'll carry it on strong with that attitude and, and roster with some experience next year. Laval cutting down that deficit now, only down 6-11 in this third set. Number 11, Justine Raymond back to serve once again. Great pass there by Mikhail. Recovered by Jones, Odigi big swing, big kill. So once again, that first year, ODG, great play. She's got a couple of back-to-back -back kills here, which is nice. Yeah, no, she's been a great outlet for the GGs, especially coming back from uh, an injury earlier in the first semester, and she's been, you know, quite solid addition to this team. Leung putting that serve in the net. Gigi is still holding on to a five-point lead here, up 12-7, with number three, Marie-Justine Couture, back to serve for laval rouge Easy float serve there, passed well by McHale. And McKay with the swing. Tough block, but recovered there. Langevin, setter getting a swing in. Couture dishing out. Langevin going again, once for that ball. Jeanne Marquis swinging on the left side. Finally finds some open court after three attempts. Good rally and perseverance by both teams on that rally. Laval just getting the better at the end there. And now Laval doing a bit of what the GGs did in that first set, just slowly starting to chip away at that advantage and trying to keep it close as it goes on. Absolutely. Another nice pass on McHale. Hey, that's a great touch there by number 12, Maxime Langevin. A little bit tight on that pass, knowing fully well that the blocker would be lined up with her and set her in the back row would cheat up to try and pick up that tip. She pushes that deep into one. Oh, and follows that up with a great float serve. Alexandre Cantin with this out of system ball, dug up by Langevin. ODG on the left side, strong swing, dug up once again by the libero. That ball just out by Jade Marquis. Gigi's holding on to that lead. 
And a substitution coming in here for the G's. Number 12, Portia Cooper coming in for Avery Hughes. Cooper, another one of the graduating seniors here tonight, four years with the program. As she makes her first appearance on the court today. Langevin back here to serve for the G's. Up 14-8 in this third set. Strong serve. Oh, just out there. Libero Alexandre Quentin just dodging that ball, making sure not to touch it as she was confident it was sailing out, and it sure did. Point there for Laval Rougeau. Yeah, making that last second decision to let it go is always a dangerous one, but it worked out in their favor. And this one did not, again, following it up with a service error that's been a few now on this on this side for Laval, uncharacteristic. Yeah, you know, it's it's kind of been an uncharacteristic service game for both teams. Gigi's doing well in the aces and errors column, and Laval taking the blunder on that side of things. ODG with the strong serve out the baseline, a bit of commentator's curse there, giving some praise to the Gigi's and following that up with a mistake. They still hold a five-point lead of 15-10, in this third set, number eight, Alexandrine Lavoie Oudzi back to serve. Strong pass there by ODG. Portia Cooper making her first play of the game. Strong swing on the right side. And gets a good roar from the crowd. Lots of fans for the hometown girl here. Trini Lusan coming back into play. Been so effective on the baseline, getting her in at this crucial turning point of the match. Three aces for her already on the night. Another one of the seniors, so good to see Coach Lionel Woods putting in a lot of his seniors here. Exactly. Strong serve once again. Passed up by Jeanne Marquis. Oh, Rust Tremblay with a low footwork on that approach here. Jumping off one foot, hard swing into the double block of the G's, overpowering and sending that ball out. Number seven, Roxanne saint amand to serve here for the G's. Uh, Laval Rougeau. Strong pass here by ODG. Back to Portia Cooper, strong swing again, dug up by Jeanne Marquis. Roxanne saint amand with the roll shot, C ball out the baseline, well judged there by the G's. Portia Cooper back to serve here for the Gigi's. Up 17-11 in this third set. Oh, just a bit far on that serve. Missing about six inches. Just out that baseline. Gigi's still holding on that five point lead. Number four, Eloise Rostremblay back to serve for Laval. Some of those where I'd like to, I'd like to see six point lead put a little bit more a little bit less oomph on those serves. Get them in, you're winning the points, the rallies. Kind of focus on that. Yeah, absolutely. You're in a position to let the other team make the mistakes rather than earning uh, some points. And a bit of a mishap hit there by Grace McHale. Off balance and swinging that ball into the bottom of the net. I'm sure she'd wish she'd have that one back. But Gigi still have that cushion. Four point lead here in this third set. Number four, Eloise Rastremblay still serving for Laval. Strong serve, passed nice and high by O.D.G. Jones on the recovery set. McHale with a deep swing. Jeanne Marquis tipping that ball over, picked up well by Cooper. Grace McHale, a powerful swing. No mistake on that one, finding some hands and sending that deep out the baseline. Great play for McHale who now heads back to the service line. So big moments here, GG's are up five. You don't want to let Laval get back into it late. Want to put them away, that's the plan here. Get a couple of serves, would be in, would be great. And that's a strong serve there by Kale. Great fix by the setter of Laval. ODG, strong swing, sending that back over. Forcing a timeout here from Laval Rougeau. Gigi's lead this third set, 19-13.
back here from this Laval timeout. Gigi's up 19-13. Grace McHale with the deep serve. About, you know, a few good yards here. Aiming for that field goal on Super Bowl Sunday. Gigi's still up 19-14 here in this third set. Leading the match 2-0. Just seeing like I'm all back to serve. Passed up by Portia Cooper, but an unfortunate error. Big double there by Audrey Udigi. Laval cutting that lead down to four, forcing a timeout from the Gigi side. Gigi's lead, 19-15. Gigi's up 19-15 here, still in this third set. Tip in the back row there from Grace McHale. Alana Leung with the slide, dug up here by Justine Raymond on the Laval Rouge A. Jade Marquis putting the ball over. Audrey DG big swing once again, so effective from the left side, putting that ball away. Giving the Gigi's the point out of that timeout and securing that five point lead once again of 2015 in this third set. Yeah, two great earlier plays though by Justine Lemon, just diving both times, dives, gets the ball around, goes back over, has to dive again to get it. So just great effort to show that Laval is, is they're leaving their heart out here, hearts out here. They're trying to get back in this one. Absolutely. Serve here by Leon. Just out there on the sideline. Strong serve, however, going for it. Gigi still up four points. Marie to Justine Couture to serve here for Laval Rouge Hall. Passed up by Grace McHale. Odigi with the tip to five. An effective middle run there by Alexandrine Leroy Odi. Cutting that lead down to three. And this, and this is the important moment. So you're 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 up three. You were up by at least six. You only need five more points to win. You just need a few. Absolutely. Just play one play at a time. Recovered there by the Vujeal. Great block by the G's. Roxanne Santa Maria finding some open court there. Great secondary set by K. Santa Maria free ball over. G's with the opportunity here. Odigi. Bit of an error in a set, but she still manages to put that ball over. A substitution coming here for the GGs as Megan Kochanchis comes in for Maxime Langevin to serve. GGs up 21 17 in this third set. Flat, beautiful serve by Megan Kochancic finding some floor. Gigi's up 22-17. A little, puzz little puzzling there from Laval's side. It almost seems like no one went, made an effort to, to hit that when you saw their coach just put his head down, just like, what happened? Absolutely, Kochancic finding that seam between the players. Great fix there by Marie Justine Couture. Oh, and a great block by the Gigi's. McKay and Portia Cooper forcing the hitter to play into their giant block here. Gigi's up 23-17, restoring that six-point lead they had earlier in this set. Kochanchis back to serve once again. Passed up by Quentin. Roxanne saint blocked once again. Free ball coming over. Passed by McKay. 
just out by McKay. Great run still by the GGs to try and get that quick attack in, out of system, and in transition. Jade Marquis back to serve here for Laval Rougeard. Down five, 25, 23-18 here for the G's in this third set. Beautiful pass by Jones. Odigi, big swing, and a huge block by number four, Eloise Grasse-Tremblay, to cut this deficit down to four. Yeah, big points, every one of them now. They're just so close, and you feel some momentum starting to shift towards Laval. Tough pass there by Jones, Odigi safely putting that ball over. Uh, and the point there, once again, Eloise Rastrable. Consecutive points here for Laval. Forcing a timeout here from Lionel Woods and the Uottawa GGs. Still holding on to the lead, 23-20 in this third set. Number 10, Jeanne Marquis to serve here out of the timeout. Strong pass, Odigi with a big swing. McKay with the recovery at the net there, putting that ball away, patiently waiting for it to come into the plane of the net. Gigi's with a potential match point here of 24-20 in this third set. Odigi back to serve. Strong floater, just corralled enough there. Same time out with the swing on the right, Jones with the secondary set. And there it is, folks, GG's. Take this third set off a big swing in transition by Grace McHale. Winning this third set, 25-20, taking the match 3-0. What feels like one of their most complete efforts all season long comes in their final home game of the season. Great win, 25 to 22, 25 to 19, and 25 to 20. Overall, great effort. Yeah, successful performance for the GGs on their senior night and last home season game. They take on UQTR next weekend in their final match of the season. I'm Dan Proto. And I'm Chris Curries. And thank you for joining us on this broadcast of Gigi's Women's Volleyball.